this is an unboxing and a, a first impression of this uh, Spark AR Red Dot made by Vortex. I've already had this out and, and had it on my uh, Diamondback DB15 and uh, I'm very impressed with this Red Dot. I'm going to go ahead and show you what comes in the box. Um, there is a little bit of assembly required so I've already done that but, but I'll go over what was done. So you get a, an owner's manual. And then it's got screws and a little star wrench. And it's got this uh, spacer plate where it gives you two options as far as how high you have this mounted. You can have either a, like a center co-witness or you can put the spacer in where you raise it up where you've got closer to the the bottom co-witness which is a pretty nice feature I prefer the center myself there's the optic it's 22 millimeter a really nice feature I like on this optic is it's got the power supply it runs off of a uh, AAA battery which is pretty convenient I have many of those laying around it's not like you can't get the other batteries but uh, it seems like these are just easier to find you can definitely get one down at like your your corner store or whatnot so uh, pretty easy to find and uh, I really like that feature And then you, you open these up, uh, the protectors, lens protectors, and they just kind of snap into place, which works pretty well as far as getting it out of the way. The controls, of course, you got your, uh, your height, and then the little vertical and horizontal. So, so that's the... Uh, the optic itself, it's got a, a very clear glass, which I, I really like that. Let me go ahead and turn it on and see if we can get anything out of this. There we go. So there's the dot. Camera doesn't really do it justice. It is a very, very nice dot. And let's see, we've got... Trying to see how many, okay, that's zero, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I believe that's maxed. So ten different settings, it appears. couple things I don't really like a lot about this dot and this is pretty pretty common with a lot of optics I don't really care that much for the star mounting screw it's uh, they have a tendency to get boogered up and uh, you've got to get these things pretty tight so I'm not a big fan of that I wish there was another option as far as the the way it mounts I really like like the aim point. It's got a a knob that you click, and then a but that's a much more expensive optic. Another thing I'm not really fond of is the controls as far as uh, turning it on and off. These are push buttons. I would really prefer like a, a more positive like screw type where it kind of clicked into place. It, I think that would be more dependable, but so far so good. But other than that, I'm really, really pleased with this optic. I love the clear glass. I'm going to get my uh, TRS-25 and kind of set it side by side just to kind of compare the uh, the glass on it. Now, the Spark's more of a what I'd call almost a mid-level, budget to mid-level 
optic. Comparing it to, to like say another budget optic, the Bushnell, you can, you can see the difference in the, the glass quite a bit. A lot clearer glass on the Spark AR. But this is not really a comparison between the Bushnell and the Spark. I just wanted to give a little little first look at this. It, it is, I think, uh, retails for around, uh, this one retailed for like $199. Well, another thing, as far as getting back to like the power, and it's got it listed on the side. Try to show that. Estimated on a maximum brightness, 300 hours on a AAA battery, and then minimum brightness, 5,000 hours, which is close to a year. And then this also does turn off by itself after like 12 hours, which is, which is helpful. This says hard anodized matte black finish, parallax free, unlimited eye relief, versatile multi height mount system, long lasting battery.